Okay, so Mike, this we were sort of chatting about yeah. some of the, the things about Blues Camp that I don't think probably people would realise if they just looked at the website. And I think having that pandemic having the pandemic thrown up some other things with Blues Camp that were really beneficial. But it's like a lot of this stuff, you don't really pay an awful lot of attention to comments until you you sort of you know, a couple of people say the same thing. or Yeah. Yeah, it's a spin. There's spin-offs to everything. Exactly. So it's this sort of thing of escaping for three days. Yeah. yeah. Or, or four, depending on, you know, if you stay overnight on the, the, um, the Thursday night, which, of course, we can do. Yeah. Escaping for that period of time. Playing music in that period of time. Um, and having all your food and drink paid for. Yes, yeah, so I mean, everything's, in, you haven't got to do anything except, except get no. up, play music. And there are not many opportunities people have of doing that. So it's a, it's a form of self, it's self-meditation in a funny sort of way, because, you know, people pay thousands of pounds to go on a, a, a retreat. Well, this is far better because you're actually gaining something out of it. You're doing something. Yes. Participating yeah. with people. And we should call it instead of a retreat, it should be called an advance. An advance, yes, a forward advance. Exactly. Um, I think that's that's and we charge the, the cost. That's the other thing. We charge a fraction of the cost bit. Oh yeah, to yeah, yeah to this uh, yoga yeah. thing. See, exactly. absolutely. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people wanted to join a band and. Yeah, where they were younger and and, yeah. and get that sort of camaraderie thing going and whatever. Um, and of course, if you'd done that as a teenager, you would know how brilliant yes. that is. But of course, you don't have to be a teenager to do that. Um, and of course, one of the things that we've we've done over the years is get people together to and play who've then gone on to do other things. So mm. we've had people, haven't we? We've had, we've had, you know, teenage blues campers go and create a band that are now gigging and, and recording yep. and, and all the rest of it. Some of them, some of them have gone on to create other bands. Um, we've also got one of the blues camp bands, which have been over to France and played twice. Yeah, yeah yes, exactly. Um, and of course, that's obviously Blues Camp France is is part of what we do. Um, and that, but that's sort of that's more of Chris's um, bag. Uh, bag. Yeah. Um, but the point is that we've had lots of people, haven't we? Um, play guitar and bass in different bands, um, and now they're, they're professional musicians. Um, and of course, this was all done as fun. Yes, originally. Um, so I think it's quite, it's quite important, but we really wanted to sort of emphasize this thing about the social aspect of what Shit. we do. How many years have we been doing this now? Uh, this is our 14th year. Right. So over that period of time, we've seen and heard, obviously, lots of people say, you know, how much they've enjoyed it. Yeah. How much of a sort of decompression type thing it is. Um, obviously, people who turn up for the, fir the, the first time on the first morning, <laughs> obviously a little bit anxious because they've never done anything like this before, but literally within the first morning, that's gone. Totally yeah. gone. I can't think of one person in all that time that's that's not been amazed at their first time that they come and talk to you at lunchtime and say, actually, I'm not nervous at all now. But that's that's the real so that's why social interaction is so important. Everyone can sit in their room and watch a video and watch how to play some other video, but it doesn't compare no. with talking to other people. Exactly. So so that's the first thing. It's the fact that you know as as a sort of a fun thing, it's astonishingly good. And obviously the facilities that we've got are amazing. There is a restaurant 
in the music department, which no. is, always amazes me. Yeah, that there is a restaurant in the music department uh, with a chef, with a with a chef that cooks fresh food, and it's uh, amazing food as well. Yeah. Um, so, so that's that, that's one of those things I wanted to um, sort of highlight. So apart from the sort of social social thing, and of course, obviously in the evenings we play and while we're sort of, you know, we have something to eat and then we just sort of sit around and have a bit of a soiree um, and um, just have a bit of a good fun time, really. But the um, other interesting thing, I think, is that one of the questions that I'm always asked by people writing is, am I too old to go on this? Um, and have I got enough experience? I'm only a beginner. And the answer is, you're never too old. And you've always got enough experience because it's actually, I believe it's the people with the least experience get the most out of it. <laughs> Their advancement during three days is astounding. We've had yeah. bass players that has never held a bass before. And then he's playing two songs with a band by the end of it. And he's coming back. He's been coming. He's coming back again this year because he never thought he'd be able to do it. But it's the, the thing is, am I too old is the, is the thing. And of course, you're never too old. And no. the I think what is that for a lot of people, it's the sort of embarrassment factor. Uh, nobody's critiquing anyone. No. Um, we do, our sort of teaching style is, it sort of creeps up on you type of teaching style. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, you know, we cover a lot of things, but not in that sort of tutorial type no. of way. We've, we've managed to sort of create this, way of teaching where we sort of slip the information in. Um, so literally, yes. Yes, yes, we do. Well, that's all the NLP stuff and all the rest of it. But, um, but of course, the other, the other aspect of it is, of course, people learn from one another. Mm. Um, because socially, you realise that once, um, you know, you get together with a group of people, it, the, the, this is one of the things I think is really important that is, I would say virtually always missed in education and it's context um, because we've got this sort of thing of what we learn we just sort of learn detail but it's always out of context um, now you could be you know technically an amazing musician you know technically but if you put what you play is out of context it will sound rubbish um, and subsequently, the reverse is true tr as well. You could be technically not that good. But if what you play is, is in context, it'll be good. And that's one of the ways that we get people that have never played before mm. um, involved in a band playing. Um, because it's about, well, what can you bring to this? Right, and the very fact that you're there is you are bringing something to it straight away. Yeah. Yes, you're right. But it is absolutely about the context of not just that you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's an environmental thing. So the other thing, because the tutors are there and they're all mixed, you know, mixed in with the the what we like to call the blues campers. Um, and we're always, you know, chatting to people and all the rest of it. You'd be there, you know, we'll be eating dinner and breakfast and all the rest of it with the rest of you. Lots of things crop up in conversation, mm. which are sometimes incredibly, I won't say profound, but you know what I mean? It could be if you keep your ears open and, and you ask questions or you just talk to people about what they do, you get those sort of the penny drop. Because you're, you're, you're mixing with people with a lot of experience mm. of playing. Um, and, you know, musicians like to talk about music. Yeah, they so do. If, so if you're hanging around with a bunch of musicians, they're going to talk to you about, you know, these gigs that, that they've done or people that they know and all the rest of it. And, and something will come out of that conversation. So that's another thing that just being on that, being, on, being you know, involved Blues Camp is, is a big learning thing. So, And of course, one of the other really interesting things that doesn't happen very often in education or anything 
is the age range. There's no age divide. So there's guys in their 60s and ladies in their 60s liaising and working with people in their teens. Now, there aren't many environments when, where that actually happens because we're taught in the Western world to segregate people. And um, we've done the opposite. And it becomes an inclusive thing, which actually makes the older people less nervous in a way of doing yeah. something. It doesn't matter. That's and right. I find that the most fascinating thing that you have that interaction because there's very little other things in life where that happens. Cool. Naturally. Happens naturally. It's not that yeah. forces it. It just happens naturally. Yeah, exactly. Right. Excellent. So um, we should say, you know, you've got to visit um, the Blues Camp website, which is obviously all the W's. Uh, Blues Camp Blues Camp UK. UK. Mm -hmm. UK. There's obviously information there, the dates, and it's in July this year, as usual. Um, it's also information about Blues Camp France as well. Um, and we do other projects throughout the year. We've obviously got some recording going on at the moment. People are doing recording an album, um, which we're doing sort of online, which is interesting. Yes. Just a um, challenge. Um, so there are lots of other things. And, and obviously, this is a fantastic team building thing as well so if anybody's interested in like you know from a corporate point of view coming along you know getting a few people together it's a fantastic way because there's so many you know music's although this is based on you know it's music but you actually learn about how you think and how you interact with people and it's probably one of the best certainly better than these corporate things you know corporate training when you end up building walls with boxes or whatever it is Mm. rubbish stuff that they do like that so you know if you want to do something really interesting you know and of course the other thing is if 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 you you are interested and you're not sure of course you and i are saying it's great come along which we would do i i can always put people in touch with people that have been before yeah. discuss yeah. it with them just to yeah. get someone else's view that's um unbiased because People talking to us for the first time might think, oh, of course they've got a, they're, they're selling. <laughs> but that's not the idea. The idea is we're putting you in touch with anyone that's been before. Yeah. So you can, you can find out exactly. So obviously don't feel afraid about doing that. And I think if you come the once, you'll want to come again because yeah. it is a, it's certainly an, exp and each year the experience is different. Yes. Each totally. year the experience is different. Yeah. Uh, Last year was amazing because it hadn't happened for two years and people were just so energetic that talking to other people and doing stuff. Um, I, I can't remember ever having a bad year. No. Always been different because the people vary and that's good. Anyway, so anyone interested, just get online and ask, ask questions. Yeah, and I'll put, obviously I'll put a link in the notes at the bottom. All right, mate. Good to Thank speak you. to you. Cheers. Cheers.